Greetings friends, it's me Al, and I'm here at Creek Road Pottery, I'm the artist and owner, and I want to do a video to uh, Rooster Hill Pottery on the channel Potter's Journal, because he had a tread wheel, a treadle wheel, not a tread wheel, treadle wheel, and um, I was thinking, man, I would really like to try it, because... Uh, a lot of those old-timey pots, the tools that were used and the equipment that was used transferred into the clay. And with the electric wheels today, um, it's a much different look and form from electric to uh, treadle or hand or kick. And it's pretty amazing. So uh, I went looking for one on Facebook Marketplace and I found one for a really great deal up in Naples, New York. So thanks so much to the people out there who sold me this. I was all excited when um, I found it. And it was just a great find. So I took my dad and we went up there. And he really enjoyed the ride up there. And looked at all the farmland. And he helped me load it. So I'll show it to you now. I'll quit talking here. So... This is it here. Um, it's got a 120 pound uh, flywheel on it. And um, I had to grease up the bearings. So they've been working great. I even have some that I can replace the bearings on this. But I cleaned it up and I washed it. The problem is uh, the basin underneath isn't all that deep, but it has a nice nice wheel head on it so um that was really great and um this foot pedal um needed a few bolts so i was able to go and replace that so i got it working now and as you can hear it's all tightened up and greased up and uh so i've just been practicing some pots so because Rooster Hill tossed some pots on their treadle wheel. Um, I really enjoy his videos. So this is going out from Creek Road Pottery to Rooster Hill and uh, Potter's Journal channel. And I'm going to toss a pot here so, so you all can see how, how great this is. And it's amazing how the movements are definitely transferred. So let me hook you in. I've been really busy uh, prepping uh, with some fall shows, for some, some fall shows. I have my, my large fall show here coming up um, the second week of October. And um, it's the Pumpkin Trail. And I'd like to put maybe 50 or so of these pots in that. So I just got done throwing a hundred or so bowls and they're drying over there in the racks and then over there are my empties that I need to fill up with mugs. So today should be a muggy day and then um, I start the other items. So we'll get this thing going here. And one thing about this, here I'll put this so you can see me. Uh, one thing about this is any little, any little movement or change um, definitely shows up um, in the clay form, in the clay form, and uh, that's 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 amazing to me. So all these, so what I'm realizing, all of these. Uh, Japanese um, teacups and things uh, with their unevenness that could very well be due to the the kick and or the push of the wheel at certain times in the pots that it was transferred into uh, into the form. 
from from the wheel. So, so I got this centered now, and this was a pretty pretty good challenge. Um, Cause on the electric, I think I was up to, you know, 18, 18 mugs an hour, but on this, <laughs> it's considerably slower. So I'm gonna have to slow it down. Oh man. But I may try standing, um, cause I stand to throw normally, and this is a standing treadle wheel. But it's just not quite high enough for me, so I may need to um, put it up on blocks or something to help me out a bit, or some other way of extending the height. So, so that's what I'm working on. See, so you all are. Let me try to get into the picture more here. I got everything all clay. But, so I've had a pretty good year so far, and uh, even with the slow economy, things have been selling fairly okay with the shows that I've been to, and I need to get work up for the website. So, I may, I may do an update before the show and have work both online and at the show. So, if you have not seen Potter's Journal, go check it out. And um, it's a really fun channel. And I really like the camera he uses. Uh, he uses this like old timey camera. And I remember back um, some of my other channels starting on YouTube. We used to have the old digital cameras and they were pretty amazing to use. And it looks like he still has one. And I hope you don't stop using it because it's just like an amazing retro kind of feel to his videos. So I'm gonna clean this up a bit. And then I'm gonna go back into uh, thinning this out some. So I'm usually standing when I throw, like I said before. So these pots here are kind of thick. I usually throw a little bit thinner, but these are all one poundies. And um, I also throw on tiles and vats. So I need to hand lift these things off. So hopefully I can hand lift these. It's been a while. I already hand lifted some of those. I just want to thin this out of hair. And it's a real challenge not to move and I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to figure out a way to better brace myself, but the first hundred will help me with that. And you always get better by making the many rather than trying to perfect the few, right? So I think it'll take me maybe a hundred or a hundred and fifty to get used to this. So it's a rainy day out there today, and uh, I work at a big paper factory, <laughs> I also try to throw pots, and it's become almost a full-time job, both, um, because of the volume of pots I put out, so. So maybe we'll, sh maybe we'll shape this into kind of like a little teacup here, Let's see what happens. There's a winery up the road, and uh, so also because it takes more time, I'm noticing that my clay gets 
saturated faster because it has that much more time because I'm, I'm piddling with it, right? So I need to figure out a way to not piddle so much to have my clay saturated. Because usually it's not this bad. All right, so let me see here. Let me get that water out. So you definitely need to slow down when you're doing this kind of thing. And it takes some getting used to. So I'm gonna bring this top in. like a little cup. I want to belly this out just a hair more. I'm probably going to end up screwing this up. But... So my favorite artist right now is uh, Warren McKenzie. Because I always believe that making pots for the normal person um, in normal home use is uh, something that I enjoy. Uh, and uh, he was an amazing potter. Of his philosophy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dry this off so I can do a hand lifting. Let's see what I can do. I'm just taking the slip off this now. There we go. So I, I use a gas updrafts to fire. And, uh, okay, let me slow this down. There we go. So now I need to do a hand lift the off. Hand lift off. See if I can do this without destroying it. All right, so so I think I went through the bottom on that. So that's something I'm going to need to practice a little bit more with this. Um, but anyways, that's my treadle wheel, and I already made two, four, five mugs, six, six, with the bottom through on the sixth one. So, I'm going to sit here and practice and have a good time today. It's a rainy day. So, uh, I hope, hopefully you enjoyed that, and, uh. Take care out there, and um, if you haven't seen the Potter's Journal, check that out. It's a really fun channel, and uh, best best wishes to Rooster Hill. Right, hopefully hopefully you have a great great year. So be well, take care, and uh, take care of yourselves and each other, and have a great day.